Hey boys and girls. And parents too. Welcome to day four of getting fit with the goodens. We really hope you're enjoying all of these short 10 minute exercise bouts. We're gonna keep giving to you because exercise is so important. It's so much fun. We wanna keep it fun and just something that we can do as a family. Because the more things that we can do as a family, the better everything else is also. So keep watching, keep joining us, send us some messages if you'd like. You can contact us all over social media and I'll put the tags in here so you can see them. We go live on our Facebook channel every weekday at 11 o'clock Eastern time, especially during this break. Today is March 19th, fourth day of the break. Hope you like the exercise today and we'll see you tomorrow. Hello. Hey guys, Again. welcome to day four of the break. It is March 19th, getting fit with the goodens. Is that what we, is that no, what we're using? I didn't agree on that. You didn't agree on that? No, I didn't yeah. agree. We'll come up with something cooler later. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. So thanks for joining us. We are going to exercise a little bit today, right? We've got a couple of fun exercises. We've got a couple more that are coming back because you don't always have to get too crazy with your exercises, right? Consistency is really important. We don't have to get too crazy and do all sorts of weird stuff, right? That was a good exercise. So what do we do first? What is step number one? There's Mama G. She's going to exercise with us. What do we do first, Andrew? Um, we're just gonna stand like this, and like there's an imaginary line. Nope. Hold on. What do we do first? Do we breathe? Yes. Sorry. Let's take about five big deep breaths in, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Get that oxygen flowing, right? What controls? What controls your breathing? What'd you just learn? Um, what did it say? Cord. Spinal cord? Hey! Where did I fly? Did somebody take it? Alright, I think that was maybe five. Now what do we do? We get warmed up. We gotta get that blood going, right? So we're gonna do some jumping jacks. We're gonna do that next. So let's get... Let's get some jumping jacks. And if you don't want to do jumping jacks, or if you don't want to do jumping jacks, you can hop or jump in place, right? So here we go. Let's get some jumping jacks. And parents, this is really good for kids to work on coordination. So jumping jacks are fantastic. As you see, older children are usually really good at it. Ones that are beginning sometimes don't have the, the coordination to do arms and the legs at the same Dad, time. So it's hard. great, great, something Dad. great. Hey, can you do jumping jacks with me? Even the little ones can get into it too, right? All right. Now, let's get those arms loose. Let's shake them out. Shake those arms. Here, we'll shake Kristoff's arms. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake them up, okay? And then let's shake the legs out. Let's get one. Let's shake the other one out. All right. So, first exercise of the day is an exercise Andrew's going to show us. So, Andrew, I want you to stand right here and face the camera so that they can see you, okay? So, what you want to do is you, we're going to be jumping. Yeah, you might want to. You want to act like there's an imaginary line or... Something that you can imagine that you want to jump over. You bend down and jump over. So we're going to jump side to side, right? Jumping over that imaginary line back and forth. Parents, you don't have to do this one if you don't want to. That is okay. But it's great for the kids. Now, what are we working on? We're working on landing like we did yesterday. So we got to land really well, right? We're just going to go back and forth. Awesome job. You guys keep on going. Andrew, are you counting? Oh, you didn't count. We got to start back over at one. Miss Marshall's here. Miss Mulligan's here. Seven, eight, 
Nine. You're not listening to me. Eleven. Twelve. Nice. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Oh, Andrew, they can't see 17, you. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Nice job, guys. Awesome job, Emily. So again, really good for the kids to learn that body control, right? Body control is so important. Learning where they are in space, it's really good for kids to learn that at a young age. So the next thing we're going to do is something for the parents. Kids, you can set this one out if you want to, okay? But you can join me if you want to here in a minute. Parents, we're going to get down on the ground. You're going to get in a push-up position, not the one you're going to show us in just a second, Emily. You're going to get in a push-up position, okay? And then you're going to go down to a bridge, and then we're going to come right back up. Kids, you can join me if you want to. Parents, adults, you have to join me. So we're going to get in a push-up position just like this, okay? Back, back flat, stomach in real tight, okay? My feet, my feet are spread because it's good for them. And then from this position, I'm going to take one arm down at a time. So I'm going to go down, down, and then I'm going to come right back up. That's one. We're going to do ten of them. You ready? Go. That's two. And we don't have to go fast on these either. And you can use either arm. You get to pick. But this is a really good one. If that's too hard, you can certainly go down to your knees and do it that way. Or if uh, if you just want to hold it, you can do that too. So it is absolutely up to you. I think that's seven, maybe, I don't know. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Eight, let's get two more. Nine. Oh, there we go. Here, ten. Awesome. Great job. Great job. Okay, now we're going to get back up. You all right? Squats. Can you show us some squats again? So you're going to want to stand like this. Squat. You want your feet to be like, no, that's push-ups. And you just want to go down and up. Can you get ten of those? Three. Good job. Good job. Hey, everybody. It is so great to move. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, Mim. Hey, Lily. Good job. We're going to do one more set of 10, okay? So take a break. We'll shake those legs out. And then we're going to do another fun one. And then Emily's going to show us a really good exercise. Do 10 more. 11, 12, 13. Get on down there. 14. There you go. 15. 16. Good job. 18. 19. 20. Awesome. 21. Oh, an extra one. 22. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of extra credit. 25. 26. 27. How many are you doing? 28. 29. 30. Nice. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. You're going to 40. You're going to 40. Okay. All right. Everybody's saying good job. Okay, so Andrew and Emily, I need you to come with me. You guys stand right here. Here's a fun one. So, this is mainly for kids, adults. If you want to do this too, it's pretty fun. Stand up. And I'll show you what to I haven't shown them this one yet. We're going to work on our balance a little bit. Okay? So, what I want you to do, kids, parents, adults, you're going to stand on one foot. Okay? Andrew, you come and stand right next to me. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up one of our legs. Okay? Just like this. I want you to keep the same arm of leg that you picked up. And I want, to, want you to put that forearm on your thigh. Then I want you to reach over your head as high as you can. Yeah. And I want you to hold it for 20 seconds. You, th you think you guys can do that with us? You ready? Come on, Andrew. We'll do it together. You ready? So one leg up, arm, and we're reaching up high over our head. One, two, 
Straight up. You think one, one side is, two, is better than the other? Three, How are you guys doing at home? Four, five, Can you, are you guys six, doing this one too? Seven, six, eight, nine, You guys are counting really fast. And what you'll see is one side might be better than the other one. You might have better balance on one side than the other. All right. Can you help me fly? Emily? So our last exercise that we're gonna do. Do you wanna show everybody our last exercise? Let's, hey, why don't we tell them what we're doing first? So why don't you stand up and we're gonna tell everybody what we're doing. Come back here. What you do is get in a push-up position. We're gonna get in a push-up position and I'm just yeah. saying it louder so Mommy, they can hear. Mommy, got that. All you do is you, go, you put one hand, you take it off and one hand, so you're gonna get in a push-up position, okay? And what we're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna swap from one hand to one shoulder, back down, just like this, back and forth on the ground. And I want I want to hear about how this one feels. How many are we gonna do? We're gonna do ten. Awesome, Andrew. Do you want to do it right here? No. you? Oh yeah. You should have a, you should have a hurt arm. So this is what it's gonna look like, all right? I want you guys to join me while I do this. Your feet are spread apart. Your hands are on the ground. And again, I'm trying to keep my back real flat. Hey guys, Hey Anna, Emily. I want you to keep your back real flat, okay? So there's a, imagine a cup of water on your back and, and, and kiddos, Boys and girls, you can do this to your parents or the adults. Go get a cup and put it on their back. If they spill the cup, they have to start over. No, actually, don't do that either. So you're going to get a push-up position, feet are spread, and you are taking your right arm, touching your left shoulder, back down. Left hand to the right shoulder, back down. That's, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Awesome. You have to couple. You can do a couple rounds of that if you want to. It's really good for your shoulders. It's really good for your midsection, right? It's a great, great exercise. We hope you guys have had fun today. Thank you for joining us. If uh, if you like this, you want us to keep doing it, just give us a thumbs up, a little heart. Um, what else? We're, we are putting these on YouTube, so they will be on YouTube so you can watch them again. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Have a great Bye. day.